Welcome back folks, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I'll be giving a price prediction for Chainlink, which has seen a relief rally since July. Remember, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence before trading. And if you enjoyed the video and you find it helpful, then make sure to subscribe and destroy the like. Let's jump straight into the charts. After seeing 10 weekly candle closes which are on red, we have finally managed to see two green weekly candle closes since the end of July. The MACD has been converging since July on the weekly time frame. If this continues, then we may be seeing a bullish crossover on the MACD, eventually leading to many more green candles on the weekly time frame. On the 6th of June, we had broken this symmetrical triangle. On the 20th of July, we had eventually managed to reach our target of $13.5, which was also the bottom. From then on, we had been seeing green candles on the daily time frame. You can see that there are multiple touch points and rejections of the $23.8 resistance level. If we manage to break it, then the next level we could be watching is $25.3. Because we have been seeing so many green candles already, around 10 green candle closes on the daily time frame, we could be seeing a small pullback potentially to the EMA ribbon on the daily time frame. If we manage to hold it, then that would signal a very bullish stance for our chain link. On the 20th of July, we were also forming an inverse head and shoulders, as you can see, with a baseline of around $16. If broken, is usually a bullish uh, charting pattern. And you can see that we had also reached our target of $18.8 .8 off of the inverse head and shoulders. All right, guys, if you happen, if you happen to be surprised by this massive crash, then you should have been subscribed to my channel. Because I was telling you guys when Chainlink was $52 that we were seeing massive resistance and that we were overextended. So a crash was not out of the ordinary. Furthermore, afterwards, we had also broken some significant support. And that is why we had seen this massive crash. We were just massively overextended. If you want to find out when the next crash will come, then make sure to smash the subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell as I will be posting an update when I expect the crash to come for a chain link. I think we have seen the bottom for a chain link which was $13.5 within this bull market. You can see that we have been starting a quite solid uptrend on the 4 hourly time frame. We've been getting bounces off of the EMA ribbon several times now. We have currently come back again to retest it. We may get a bounce back up again but we are finding some resistance because you can see that the local tops have been converging. We have been testing the same area multiple times now, which is around the $23.8 resistance level. Looking at the MACD on the four hourly, you can see that we had seen a bearish crossover and we were slowly trending downwards on the MACD. We are currently not converging. The moving averages on the MACD are actually moving away from each other. This is a bit of a bearish signal. On the daily time frame, you can see that we have also been converging from this uptrend. We may see some more downwards momentum. We may see a bearish crossover as we had seen on the 16th of July. So in the next week or so, we can see some sideways action, potentially see some red daily candles. But as I had said before, on the weekly time frame, it shows quite some strong upwards momentum. The MACD has been converging from the downside, so this signals a reversal from the downtrend on the weekly time frame. This is a very bullish signal. The stochastic had also given a bullish crossover from the oversold territory, so this is also a very bullish signal on the weekly time frame. Remember guys, the longer term time frames are more significant than the shorter term time frames. So the fact the weekly time frame is giving some bullish signals is very significant. However, you can see that there was still some 
resistance to go for Chainlink on the weekly time frames. On the monthly time frame, the stochastic is giving a bullish crossover. So this is also very significant and very bullish for Chainlink because the monthly time frame is a very significant time frame. You can see that on the daily time frame, the stochastic has been overextended for a while now, for a couple of days. So do not be surprised if we see a small pullback in the coming days for Chainlink. To sum it up, it looks like Chainlink may be seeing a reversal on the larger time frames. However, on the weekly time frame, there is still some resistance to go, but afterwards, we can be seeing much higher prices for Chainlink. Alright guys, I hope you find this video helpful and you have a better understanding of where the current crypto market is. If you enjoyed it and you find it helpful, then please make sure to smash the subscribe button and destroy the like button. I will be posting more updates as soon as I see something in the charts. So make sure to subscribe. I wish you all an amazing rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video.